Welcome to this reflection for the third Sunday of Lent. And we read the absolutely remarkable story of the woman at the well in the Gospel according to St. John. There's so much richness here to unpack. It's going to take a miracle to even touch the surface in the five minutes we have here. Jesus is talking to a Samaritan woman. Now this is, these are the infidels, you like the Samaritans, up in their, their, they've taken Judaism and mixed it in with idol worship and heaven knows what. And so, you know, why is Jesus even talking to Samaritans, number one? Number two, he's talking to a woman. Number three, the disciples have gone off to buy food because presumably Jesus doesn't have any food. The disciples don't have any food. It's a very natural thing to do, to go off to get food. And he's at the well where you get water. This is the sustenance of life. So the woman comes and Jesus asks her to give him some water. She says, we don't have anything to draw the water with. And why are you talking to me anyway? You know, I'm a woman, I'm a Samaritan, you know. It's like, hey, you know, what, what's your, what are you up to? Why are you doing this? And Jesus tells this woman, just to paraphrase and to jump through this gospel passage, a long gospel passage, the, if you read the whole passage. He tells this woman that he is the Messiah. He reveals to her his true identity. And then he says, if you knew who I was, you would be asking me for water. And the living water that never ends, the water of the Holy Spirit in effect. And um, she, of course, says, give me this water. So Jesus teases out of her this desire for living water. This is the wonder of Jesus through the parables and throughout the Gospels. We see Jesus teasing faith out of people in most unexpected places and situations. And so Jesus reveals his identity as the Christ. And then the disciples come back and the woman, according to St. John, is still there at the well. And the disciples, first of all, are surprised that Jesus is talking to a woman which is completely off limits for within the society of the first century. And second of all, they brought food. Jesus has sent them off to get food. They've come back with the food. And he says, Master, come on, let's eat. Here we go, let's eat, everybody. Got food here. And Jesus says, I don't need food. And it's like thinking, what? We've just been into town to buy food. Now you don't want the food. It's nice, warm, fresh, you know, hot, straight off the oven, and you don't want to eat the food. And that not only that, he's talking to a woman. They must have think, my goodness, you know, who are we following? But the woman runs off the town, and this woman becomes the first evangelist. She evangelizes the whole town. She says, come and see. Uh, this is the Christ. We found the Messiah. And the town comes out. And Jesus is persuaded to stay in that town for the next two days. And... The result of that is a complete revival. This is like a true, like a spiritual awakening. Because many came to believe on Jesus, not only for the testimony that the woman shared, but also they've actually seen Jesus themselves and they've come to believe because they've actually encountered Jesus himself. So in a nutshell, Jesus is saying, don't just know me because you hear about me in church, but come and see, taste of the living waters and know that I am real and that you can have a personal encounter with the living God through our Lord Jesus Christ. And that's the wonderful gift, this living waters that the Lord is offering us all, regardless of who we are and how much of an outcast society may call you. You are beloved of God. Jesus is calling you to himself today. So come and taste and see that the Lord is good.